Now, I'm going to start my presentation. I'm Fumiya Shinozaki, a lecturer at Osaka Kyoiku University in Japan. The title is, Is Creating Original Notes Helpful in Making Improvisational Speeches in English? This study discusses the effects of using notes for one-minute speeches that junior high school students make in English classes. The government issued a new course of study and explains there are two types of speaking teaching. One is introduction and the other is production. Since Japanese people are not good at speaking English on the spot, both of these focus more on improvisation. The average score of the speaking section of TOEFL is only 70 points, which shows Japanese speaking ability is limited. There are some factors that make speaking English difficult. Learners factors, communicative stresses, cognitive complexity, and language complexity. It is important to pay attention to the notion called foreign language anxiety. It is said that teachers should adjust the learning environment. For example, it is possible to start with pair work, then group work, and finally speaking in front of class in order to lower students' anxiety. When speaking in public, using some notes with texts is helpful, though students need to avoid depending too much on them eventually. And repeated practice was also crucial. In this way, students need to take some measure against anxiety and a concrete approach to improve speaking skills. Thus, the purpose of the study is, by analyzing the results of the survey, the present study tries to review the effects of creating and using original notes for many speeches. The following are the research questions. One. Are there any differences between students who think they are good at speaking spontaneously and those who think they are not? 2. What kinds of notes are made by students? Let me quickly introduce some previous studies. There are some types of speeches, and exprompt speech would be the most appropriate for my practice. Students have little preparation time, but they cannot practice in advance. A researcher conducted a one-minute speech and a two-minute dialogue. The purposes were to lower students' resistance to speaking and to increase fluency rather than accuracy. The results showed that the practice reduced students' anxiety to speak but did not drastically improve their improvisational speaking skills. In addition, another study indicated that using notes enabled students to feel confident and could serve as good guidance to delivering an impromptu speech. Using notes would give some positive influence on students, but it was still debatable. In terms of mechanism of speaking, working memory is related to improvisational speech. In a one-minute speech, students have to memorize information quickly and produce them orally after a short interval. According to the working memory model, the phonological loop is considered the most related to language. The number of items people can memorize at one time is said to be around 7. Another study claims that they can store and process 4 chunks. Without any notes, it is quite difficult, especially for non-native speakers, to make an improvisational speech. Now, I will move on to the present study. 131 junior high school students were the participants of this study. They were 13 or 14 years old with an experience of a few year English learning. In order to grasp the current situation, I conducted a questionnaire and asked these three questions. 1. Are you good at speaking English with sufficient preparation? 2. Are you good at speaking English without sufficient preparation? 3. What are your own challenges in speaking English? I showed each detailed result in my paper, so I will pick up the most important part here. I made two groups based on the results of the survey for the study. Group 1 is composed of students who answered 3 or 4 for question 2. They think that they are good at speaking spontaneously. They got high scores on English tests. On the other hand, 
Group 2 is composed of students who answered 1 for question 2. They don't think that they are good at speaking spontaneously. They got lower scores on the tests. They took 6 English lessons. They used a few minutes to practice making a 1 minute speech. The flow was 1 minute preparation, 1 minute speech, about 1 minute question and answer session. They took notes when necessary. After the final practice, I conducted a survey to ask the effects of creating and using notes. I provided the summary worksheet to compile the notes they had made so far. I used the qualitative data analysis software, MaxQDA, and basically followed the procedure of the KGM method to categorize the students' descriptive texts. The procedure is like this. In the first place, I made a work cloud to get the whole picture. The target of this analysis was the entire text made by all the participants. The larger the word was, the more frequently it appeared in the text. Many of the students were able to make a speech, speak, think, or remember by using notes. On a whole, it seems that creating notes had a positive influence on the students' abilities. The target of the categorization was the text made by group 1 and group 2. There were six categories. I call them tires here. We can tell from this that notes would influence students' anxiety. There is a possibility that notes help the students mentally. Also, maybe they affect the students' motivation to study. In terms of English, here is an interesting result. The thicker the line is, the more students are referred to several aspects of English. Group 1 consider notes to be helpful in linguistic, especially speaking, making a speech, recalling words and expressions. On the contrary, Group 2 regarded notes as being more helpful in constructing a speech. What structure is about what order the speech can be outlined or organized, which is related to logic and reason. There are some more differences between the groups. What can we say from these results? I will discuss later. I analyzed the notes of all the participants. Their actual notes could be divided into three types, language, speech structure, and self-reflection. On language, they made notes about words and expressions. They were even divided into two types, general terms and topic-related terms. From the notes on speech structure, it seems that students wanted to make their speech more logical or persuasive. Even though students were not directed to do so, many of them made comments on their own speeches to be able to look back on later. They repeatedly added reflection every time they made one-minute speeches. Now, I would like to discuss these results. Group 1 utilized the notes for the purpose of recalling English words and expressions. Group 2 wanted to focus more on starting a speech. It seemed that the students in Group 1 could make questions more effectively. Maybe they were more likely to be able to listen and understand a speaker's speech and think of questions. Why? This probably relates to automatization. According to the attention processing model, professional learners can pay attention to higher order cognitive processing. So, the students in group 1 were more likely to have broader parts that were processed with little attention, which could mean they were more automated. In other words, they were more capable of paying attention to what they wanted to, such as words and expressions, not the speech structure. Group 2 might have been overwhelmed by the notion of how a speech should be outlined. Probably they got a lot of pressure from speaking English to someone else. From the actual notes, there were several findings, but I would like to pay attention to the self-reflection because I basically expected that they would make notes on language or speech structure. People should fundamentally create notes voluntarily, and many of the students did so. In conclusion, the answer to the question number one is, 
Group 1 used notes for recollecting language related to information. Group 2 used notes to construct a speech. This difference might stem from the quality and quantity of selective attention. The answer to the question number two is, there are three perspectives seen in the notes, language, speech structure, and self-reflection. The category language had two types, general terms and topic-related terms. The notes for speech structure were made for the sake of logic or objectivity. The notes played a role in self-reflection, which may have helped students become autonomous learners. These are the references used in this presentation. Thank you for watching my presentation. If you have any questions, please leave some comments. Thank you.